you've already learned the concept of zeolites where I said they are microporous alumino silicate network. They have a network of alumino, oxygen and silica in the form of a honeycomb structure. So nothing to remember with honey, honey, they will not ask you to draw. If you have can practice, you can practice, you must practice if you are really interested. Learn the structure of zeolites, a small framework where you have honey, honeycomb uh, structure of zeolite. Now let us uh, come back and learn the uses of zeolites. Zeolites if they ask you, right? So you can specific like in most of the books they give you that is some five as a zeolite used in petrochemical industry let us make it more clear to the examiner about the concept so zeolites basically are used in ion exchange beds so you would have seen this you know RO water plants where we, have, we use it in it has been common quite common in all the apartments and uh, for where you don't have your um, pure water uh, plant you try to pick up the uh, water which is sent to you or the bow water and then purify it with the RO water the reverse osmosis process so zeolites because of this porous nature they are they are used in ion exchange beds so what what does it do what what process does it do in ion exchange beds as I said in the RO water plant it is going to purify the water purification of water after that it is going to soften the water softening of water because even if you have hard water availability, it's going to exchange the ions between this, this one and it's, it's going to soften the water which is, which is easy for consumption. So next important thing, zeolites are used in chemistry also. How are we going to use? Suppose if I have to study the property of some particular ion. I said my, this, because of this honeycomb structure, I can fix different ions into this. So with that, the properties of different different elements or different different compounds can be known. Means basically your zeolite axis and adsorbent zeolite acts as adsorbent and can be or can it can I said you know it, it can you know allow certain ions to occupy its sites okay let us write that also it can allow certain ions as we have written in a plus ion potassium ion aluminium ion right and a plus ions due to like through which i can study the properties of different ions through which properties can be studied okay this is done now next important thing if i have to speak about in this is in chemistry this is for domestic purposes. If I have to speak about petrochemical industry, zeolites also have uh, their uh, importance in petrochemical industries. You can also write it is used in petrochemical industry where what is the process used in this. So in petrochemical industry, I am going to use it for two processes. One process, the famous process that is called cracking. Cracking. And one more process uh, which I'm going to teach you is your uh, what do you say pyrolysis? Pyrolysis, that right? <clears throat> so uh, in cracking, when I have to speak about cracking, so what is actually cracking? If I have to make it simpler and clear, so now uh, I'm going to speak about uh, a medi or matter that is called kerogen. What is this kerogen? Kerogen is an organic matter. Okay, where is this present? This organic matter is present in sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. So what do they do? Using zeolites, this kerogen or this organic matter is broken down. Okay, let me not put this brackets here. This kerogen is broken down into simpler substances. You're break, basically, you're breaking down the uh, organic matter or the complex compounds into simpler substances. So, kerogen being an organic matter, it is further decomposed and into simpler substances which is used further. Let me take one more example. I'm not going to the detail of this. Suppose if I have to write one more example. Your complex like means higher alkanes. If I have to say one more in cracking, higher alkanes are cracked into lower alkanes and 
alkenes also lower alkenes and alkenes also so remember this so cacking is a process of converting the complex compounds into simpler substances done let's come back to pyrolysis how should i define pyrolysis basically pyro means heat so it is a thermal decomposition reaction i am using heat and allow it to uh, decompose into products so pyrolysis is nothing but here i am going to use zeolites here so thermo thermal decomposition so what are we going to do suppose if i have wood with me right i am going to take wood and <clears throat> now when you are allowing it to undergo pyrolysis process wood is going to break up into three important or decompose into three important products done so pyro means using heat lysis means um, your cleavage or formation of two or more products yes now let's see what what are the products of wood now when we speak about this pyrolysis as we said it is thermochemical decomposition so when you take wood when it is allowed to undergo pyrolysis it's going to break or uh, into form products like wood it can uh, break up into your activated carbon you know your charcoal activated carbon is one pyrolysis product it can also break up into charcoal it can also pyrolyze it can also form products like methanol so these are the different types of products so suppose if they ask you users you can write any of these right for one mark they ask for two marks also the data is more than enough for you all petrochemical industries have shown you cracking pyrolysis also have shown you so finish off the answer start from your zeolite starting from that information till this point so let us come back and start with the next topic that is enzyme catalysis so complete concept of enzyme catalysis will be studying let's meet again